Hey guys, so today is October 14th and um, I'm going to be talking a little today about emotional stagnation and how I've gained mental clarification of my cognitive abilities. <laughs> Basically, I've been going through a really emotional time and it's given me introspective on my own psychological makeup and the understanding of my emotions and how I react in a situation of extremes. So I have been feeling emotional extremes lately and I feel like it's partially me and partially not and I feel like perhaps because I put so much emotion into this it's kind of like a ripple effect of my vibration and basically lately I've been learning vibrational transmutation of using my Of use sorry, there's someone of using my emotions to manifest better to manifest better and a lot of it has to do with feeling appreciation and essentially praying and for me when I meditate I pray at the same time you know usually I pray and then I go into my meditative state and I don't necessarily ask for anything it's more of an appreciation and amplification of appreciation and when I get to a state of that appreciation, you know, feeling appreciation, I amplify it and send it out and kind of wallow in a state of appreciation. And when I do that, I can feel, you know, the transmutation occur. I, you know, I get t tingles throughout my body and, um, you know, if I'm closing my eyes, I can essentially feel feel how I see with my third eye in the sun, and I feel like when I lay in the sun, I am absorbing energy and information from the light, and this. Um, mixture of elements causes a almost state of euphoria and a state of you know appreciative euphoria like you you recognize what's not there so that you can appreciate what is there and while appreci being able to appreciate something it's easier to let something go that does not no, that no longer suits you, that you have essentially learned the lessons and got out as quickly as possible, you know, if, if, if that, if you could. I mean, sometimes some of us forget that we are um, going through a series of lessons and hold on to a situation and take things a little too seriously. And although we are students and we are learning and we are initiates, we have to remember that we are human and we are going to experience a variety of different psychological and mental extremes and I feel that we go through some of us go through these extremes to learn about ourselves through this exertion of energy if we weren't to go through these things we would never understand that that is how we are within and when certain things happen and how we react to these things if 
we could essentially upgrade mentally, you know, cognitively to be able to assess a situation and, and enter into a situation with the proper psychological understanding and avoid a situation altogether. And I feel like it's a big lesson on learning how to, hey, it's 5.55, <laughs> learning how to decipher the difference between good energy and bad energy and knowing that there are illusions throughout this and there will be tests of great multitude for those of us who are part of this multi-dimensional multi <laughs> mystery school and it's hard to decipher between what is good energy and what is bad energy when you are channeling if you channel and knowing that not everything you channel is for your highest good and essentially to learn for just to listen to yourself first and foremost within yourself and know that desire and imagination can affect different can affect your um, understanding of a situation and re recognizing that you can be put into a state of disillusionment and not take and not take that um, path again so sorry I could hear somebody listening to me <laughs> and it's hard to focus my sister is in the other room and she's she's nosy I, I, norm I don't talk in front of people so when I talk it's kind of hard for me to enunciate the words correctly. I've always had a stage fright and I've always been nervous about my speaking skills, but I'm it's something that I'm learning and it's something that I'm working on so that I can portray in verbally the image of my journey and help others who are perhaps going on something similar of a journey and how we can help each other and come together and good stuff like that so I'm working on it um, and I'm also going through an intense time of change so I'm I'm like I feel like I'm in the middle of an upgrade like I just a few days ago like you know the procession since the last equinox which was on the 8th I have been going through is it on the 8th? yeah <laughs> and um I've been going through a series of releases and banishments and letting goes, etc, etc, however you want to put it, and I have been feeling uplifted and I have been getting back into my exer exercise regime, my eating habits have been changing, I have been inspired, I'm motivated, I, you know, I want to go out rather than stay in and, you know, read. And I definitely have been noticing my energy levels have been, you know, starting to peak again. And um, yesterday I was, I mean, it comes and goes, of course, but like yesterday there was a downfall and I was at an emotional low and... I kind of just, you know, cleared my mind, and I feel for me, um, it's a lot harder for me to stop over-processing because I am three air signs, and I, I mean, even without that, I'm an over-analytical person, so I constantly assess and evaluate things over in my head, and if it's not rational, then I kind of, you know, it takes a lot more time to process, and I have to, 
you know, lay it out and kind of look at it from different focal points of perception, of my perception, and see it for what it is, and sometimes you have to experience the, the low a little bit longer to understand and fully process the emotion, the, um, you know, psychology, the, um, the stagnation, the, the low energy, it all helps you grow and learn and it makes you you know it makes you not want to be in that situation and it essentially kind of coaxes you into vibrational transmutation and since I'm learning about vibrational transmutation my experience is mirroring it back to me so essentially if I it's it's it is alchemy you know I am putting these elements into myself and kind of testing how it, people, how I react to people and how people react to me and how doing certain things creates different situations and um, how I react to different situations and it's it's been a process of understanding and a process of not understanding at the same time you know I've been understanding myself more but understanding the situation less and <laughs> I kind of am to a point now I'm actually at the point I've been at the point you know for the past couple weeks to where I've you know I smile at it because I'm like oh I get it now like I learned I get it I've, I've I learned and it's it's you know like the feelings are coming to like a point of complete letting go and I feel I am slightly still attached to a situation because I have just gone through this situation but I'm about to take a huge trip to California so I feel like this is my new beginning you know I'm waiting it's actually probably gonna be around the 23rd and it's it, and it's crazy because this whole situation happened over the span from the last two moons, the last, not two moons, the last two eclipses in April, and this span of this emotional stagnation, this emotional processing has, um, you know, finally started to end at this point. So it's kind of like a cycle that happened within that uh, eclipse cycle, and it's strange because... I have it's it's fall but I have been experiencing a lot of warm weather and I've been able to um, bask in the sunlight more and the, the rays of the sun are less harsh so the information is easier to process it's kind of like in the summertime when I would sit in the sun and try to like meditate and you know process everything it was harsh I didn't understand it it was it was it, it, it was a very rough feeling you know of being feeling rejected and feeling misunderstood and feeling like you know you were in the wrong for doing something and not even understanding what you did it's it was harsh you know and throughout time you know it's definitely mellowed out and now I'm to a point of like you know and it, it's crazy because my feelings match the seasons and um I have now been able to, like, I'm fully able to breathe without feeling like this situation, this experience has kind of weighed me down. And since I'm, you know, about to embark on a journey to California and go have fun, <laughs> I'm, um, going to be going to Northern California for a little while to hang out with some friends and go to some shows in the Bay Area and then I think we're getting Holly Weird on Halloween. <laughs> so I I guess keep that in mind if you want to say what's up. I don't know if anyone from Hollywood is lurking, but what's up? Um, I, so yeah, I'm about to go on this huge journey and I don't really know when I'll be home, which is okay with me, maybe for Christmas. 
I, I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but I mean, I love my family and um, I usually go just for my family, but it's been, it's been odd the past couple years at Thanksgiving, so I'm just kind of, kind of maybe not, just maybe, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what plans are going to take me in November, but I think that I'm going to be working a lot, so I'm probably going to be busy for a while and might just have to have a California Thanksgiving, I don't know. I wouldn't mind. The beach is awesome. It'll be cold, but it's so worth it. <laughs> so, yeah. Crazy, crazy. But I've learned a lot, and I feel like I've come out a better person. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but I mean, I definitely feel like I've my vocabulary has expanded quite a bit going through all this learning and It's been an interesting time period, and um, I definitely feel more clarification on a mental scale. I'm able to, you know, compute and assess situations easier without having this kind of back thought on my mind always. So yeah, I'm having a great time. I've, you know, been, you know, experiencing a lot emotionally but I feel that I am coming to a place of balance <laughs> again finally I've been you know working on it for months and and when I've you know when I have it I have it you know but when I fall when I slip and fall and I fall back a little bit I'm like whoa I've got to stop and dust myself off you know make sure I'm still <laughs> you know, movable, you know, and so, yeah, I'm learning, and I'm growing, and I'm processing, and all that good stuff, <laughs> and I'm smiling again, like, really, it's kind of cool, so, so, <laughs> I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Let's see if I can... I think that's about it. So, I love you guys, and I hope you guys have an amazing October. And if I don't make another video before the 31st, Happy Halloween, and aka all the day when... All <laughs> It's, well, technically it's All Souls Day. Technically it's also the day when the veil is the thinnest and, you know, spiritual, hap or mysterious, spiritual, mystical happenings happen. So keep that in mind and have fun. <laughs>